Here are my disclosures. And as an overview, we're going to really hit the, the three topics, as I mentioned, uh, LV and RV function primarily, uh, a little bit of myocardial innervation, and a bunch of myocardial viability. Okay, so we're going to get right to it. All righty, when we talk, as a, as a cardiologist, when we talk about LV and RV function assessment, there are multiple tools that we have uh, at our beckoning. Uh, we are definitely familiar with uh, nuclear techniques, okay, several of them. Uh, everybody's heard of echocardiography. Uh, there's also MRI, fluoro, CINE, CT. Uh, and we're going to really hit the first three of these, a nuclear echo and MRI. Now, when we discuss LV and RV function, the biggest and most important concept, I think, to tackle is this, uh, accuracy versus precision. Um, uh, I'm going to be talking about assessment of myocardial blood flow a little bit later, and one of the uh, you know, funny aspects of it is uh, you could be very precise and be precisely wrong every single time. Okay? And that's uh, a very important concept here. And then I, I found this wonderful little I think that actually hits the nail on the head, so to speak. Um, you want to not only have precision, which is being able to get the same exact value for your measurement, but you also want to get it correctly. So hitting the face a hundred times with the darts doesn't count as, uh, as being helpful in clinical medicine. Okay, so that brings me to my uh, first topic of MUGA, which uh, really has historically been considered a gold standard. Uh, still, People still order this at my institution, and uh, for the most part, you really can use other techniques. This, this modality, I think, really just needs to get replaced. Um, there's radiation associated with it. Um, the echo technology is so much better than it was 10 years ago. Uh, now, the, what, what is marked as being the, the hallmark of MUGA is its precision. Um, we can all do the same exact test, do it the same exact way, and we will really get the same exact number. Uh, but it's the accuracy that is a problem. Now, this is a study that uh, I processed, same study, um, and it's the, the same region of myocardium is selected. And really, the biggest difference is the background selection, as you'll notice uh, up in here. This is the background that we selected here, and this is the background that we selected on this one. And if you remember the calculation for EF, it's that background is essentially taken from the end systolic and end diastolic frames uh, and subtracted. And look at the massive difference in ejection fraction. Okay? So the accuracy in this particular modality is really problematic unless you have a very good and accurate and precise way of knowing where, what your background is. And this is one aspect that nobody can really agree on. So. Uh, despite MUGA having this kind of gold standard, uh, it's been put up on the, on the podium for years and years and years, uh, I, this is the major problem with it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the three major vendors is not even supporting this from a nuclear software standpoint. So uh, one of the three major vendors who sells nuclear software is no longer supporting this. That should tell you something. Um, and I'm going to move